So now let's make a category repository ready for entity framework. So let's open that file and I'm going to delete everything from inside of it. And just like before, we need to bring in the DB context. So it's going to be private read only and it's going to be the app DB context that I'll call underscore app DB context. And I'm sure you know what's next and that is of course the constructor injection. So let's create that and pass in the app DB context that will be app DB context variable. And here inside of the constructor we will assign a value to our variable from the argument appdb context from the constructor. And now we can use it in our get all categories, which is the only method or property that we need to set here. So let's modify that. I'm going to delete that. And here we will set it to return all the categories from the appdb context. So we'll go to appdb context dot and we'll go to our data set for categories. So this will return all the categories and assign it to this property get all categories. And that's it. Both our repositories are now ready for entity framework core. Now we already have both category repository and candy repository set up in our startup class. When we use the dummy data, we already have them added to the services. So we are now ready to start using them. Well, once again, almost. We prepared our application for the database, but we did not actually create the database yet. So let's do that next.